Hi, my name is Sharon Cameron and here I'll explain how to administer ListenS. This will help you to get valid results from the test and also you'll see how easy it is to administer. ListenS should only be administered in a sound treated room as all the test's normative data was collected in sound treated rooms. Administering the Listen S in a noisy environment will therefore lead to invalid results. Use only the headphones and Phonak sound card that you received with the Listen S software. Special calculations and measurements were made to recreate a three-dimensional acoustic space under these special headphones. Any other set of headphones will lead to invalid results even if you can hear the target sentences and distractor voices. Start up the ListenS software. When using ListenS for the first time, get yourself familiar with the layout of the screen. You'll soon appreciate how easy it is to navigate. In the top menu bar, you will see several options. You can back up all your data, add the names of different professionals who will perform the ListenS test in your clinic, and you can of course find help on various topics. Most importantly here, you must select the test language. This setting is found in the configuration section. You can always change the test language later if you need to. The standard workflow when administering ListenS progresses vertically down the navigation bar on the left, from top to bottom. For easy navigation, you can also click the big arrow on the left. This will take you to the next required step. First then, enter new client data or select an existing client. The patient's first and last names, sex and date of birth are all mandatory fields. All other fields are optional. By double clicking the patient row or by clicking on the right arrow, an overview of sessions appears for that individual. It may be that ListenS was administered before, for example, so all previous session details can be viewed here. If the client is new, or if ListenS needs to be re-administered to an existing client, select New and OK on the right of the screen and a new session will be added. You are now ready to start the diagnostic test. Click on the big arrow and you'll enter the first diagnostic stage. As you may know, ListenS uses four different test conditions and these must be administered in the correct order. The big arrow will lead you automatically through these conditions in the required sequence. The screen you see here is called the playback screen. Make yourself familiar with this, as this is an important screen. You will see the client's name, the test condition, stop, start and reset buttons, which start, stop and reset this particular test condition. When performing the test, you will also see the level of noise and the level of the presented target sentence, the sentence being played to the child, and a box in which you must enter the number of words that the child repeated correctly. A word is considered correct if it is repeated exactly as it appears on the playback screen. If the child includes an extra word, there's no penalty. However, if the child substitutes a word, leaves a word or words out, or inserts morphemes, such as plural or past tense markers, the number of correct words should be adjusted. In the user instructions, which can be found in the help menu, you can see an example. In each of the four test conditions, testing ceases automatically after between 22 and 30 sentences. Hi Harry. Hi Mrs. Jones, have a seat. Hi. 
It's essential that the child hears the right instructions in exactly the right words. These instructions can also be found in the help menu. You're going to hear some sentences over these headphones. The sentences are said by a lady called Miss Smith. Miss Smith will sound as if she's standing just in front of you. There'll be a beep before each sentence so you'll know when it's about to start. Your job is to repeat back the sentence that Miss Smith says. I'll pretend to be Miss Smith and I want you to repeat the sentence you hear. The dog had a bone. What would you say? The dog had a bone. Good. That's easy, isn't it? But there's a trick. At the same time that Miss Smith is telling you the sentence, there are some very tricky people talking. Sometimes the tricky people sound like they're standing right next to Miss Smith. Sometimes they'll sound like they're standing next to you. No matter where the tricky people are, I don't want you to listen to them. Just listen for the beep and the sentence. Miss Smith always starts out louder than the tricky people, so you shouldn't have any trouble hearing her. But sometimes the tricky people get louder and Miss Smith will be harder to hear. Even if you only hear a bit of the sentence, I want you to tell me all the words that you hear because I give you a mark for every word you get right. So if you just heard dog and bone, what would you say? Dog, bone. Great. If you don't hear Miss Smith at all, just shake your head and I'll go straight on to the next sentence. Once you've heard the sentence, tell me what you've heard straight away so you don't forget it. In the first lot of sentences, the tricky people will be standing right next to you. Don't listen to them. Just concentrate on Miss Smith in front. The tricky people start first and then Miss Smith starts a few seconds later. Ready? Yep. I'm just going to put these headphones on you. There we go. How's that? A lady kissed her baby. After working through Listen-S's four test conditions, you'll land on the results screen. This provides a concise overview of your client's performance. For each of the five scores that Listen-S measures, the low and high QSRT and spatial, talker and total advantage, you will see average scores for normally performing children of the same age as your client, plus your client's score for these five measures, details of whether your client is within or outside normal limits and how many standard deviations your client differs from the mean. You can print or email these reports directly from the software itself. If your computer is connected to the internet, each time ListenS is started, it will see whether any updates are available. This ensures you have the very latest version of the software available all the time. It's that simple. We enjoyed developing ListenS and we've done our very best to make the test extremely reliable and easy to use. We hope you enjoy administering it.